have sex during your period, but just on top of you like period. And all the blood stays around the cup. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're going to have something new. No, not new. Actually, I'm going to explain exactly what is the difference between the baby cup and the traditional cup. And why do we call this traditional cup? Because basically in the market when you search for a menstrual cup, you can you're always going to find this same style of cup. Basically, it's just a little cup with a little stem but the baby cup is completely different uh, as the cups that you find right now in the market so I'm going to explain you now exactly what is the difference between one and the other the first one that is very important is that the baby cup is way softer than any other cup in the market right now you can see that the baby cup is way 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 softer it's very flexible but only in the body as you can see and in baby we always want you to have the most natural period that you could ever have and not only the most comfortable but also that you don't feel the cup inside and then you don't feel like your period is just on top of your period no the period should be something natural to be something that you're happy with and not something that is really add an extra stress in your life. We don't want an extra stress. So basically, the body of the, of the baby cup is way softer, so that means that it takes the shape of your body and not the other way around. But the body, since it's very flexible, the, the rim is a little bit harder, so it's always going to open inside. Even if you have high cervix, medium cervix, or sometimes we have clients that also can fit the baby cup perfectly if they have low service. Of course, every woman is completely different, every anatomy is different, so of course you need to understand what suits best for you. The other thing, the second thing that is very important and the difference between the baby cup and the traditional cup is that the, for example, the traditional cup doesn't have any type of inside flap or anything, but the baby cup does. The baby cup has a little flap inside that allows the blood to stay inside it at all times. Not only when you remove it and then take it out, but also, and I have a little bit of water in here so I can show you exactly how does it work. You, I'm going to put a little bit of water in. <laughs> I hope this is not a mess. <gasps> show me <now. laughs> Okay, I think uh, it's a little bit difficult to see because it's like transparent water <laughs> transparent water Sarah 2020 thank you very much oh this is perfect okay I'm going to take a little marker and then I'm going to put it a little bit in the water okay, I hope the, the, the marker doesn't go to waste now you can see that there's a very very pink water inside but it's better to show you and it's better for you to really understand how it works so basically, if you take the baby cup out, usually the, the trouble of the menstrual cup, like the traditional menstrual cups, is, is that you take the cup out and imagine you take it from the upper side of the cup, exactly. You take it from the upper side and when you take it, of course the blood goes everywhere. So that's why this flap is for, and I'm going to show you this with the pink, this is the flap. In the, from the side, the flap looks like this, it doesn't come out because later I'm going to explain you a very amazing thing and a very amazing feature that the baby cup has that, oh that is, you can have sex during your period but later I'm going to explain it okay, <laughs> back to business when you have your baby cup, for example, like here and then you want to place it, for example, over a table then you can perfectly place it over the table without the blood going everywhere you can see that the cup is completely flat and the water remains inside basically so the same happens when you <gasps> what when you have sex during your period so that's the third very important characteristic of the baby cup is that you can have sex during your period but why why does this happen because the baby cup is like i said way softer than the than the normal cups so that allows that if you have penetrative relations or even if you have a, a couple of the same sex also, you can have sexual intercourse. Of course, I need to clarify that sexual sexual act not only implies only penetrative sex, but there's a lot of different types of sex that you can practice when the baby comes. 
If you have sex and then you have the cup inside of your vagina, then basically, if you have penetrative sex, this is what happens. The cup takes exactly the shape of the penis, so to speak. Oh my god. With one hand, it's so difficult. With the pink, I'm going to show you exactly what happens. The baby cup fell, but of course, it's not going, to, it's not making a mess. This is amazing. This is amazing. Wait, look, let me show you. It's now here next to my computer. It fell like that. So basically, that's a very important feature of the baby cup. And then that's that's the perfect way to explain it, I guess. But of course, the sex, this is what happens. The the under part of the cup goes around the rim. So that means that all the blood, like I explained here, all the blood, this is like this, blah 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 and all the blood stays around the cup so that means that you're not going to have any accidents or any leakage okay <laughs> so this is how it's going on basically so as you can see if i let loose the water is still inside perfectly and then you can just remove it and go ahead with your life another thing that is very 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 important about the baby cup is that it doesn't have a stem in my own perspective, okay, of course this video is not only under my own perspective as a designer but also under my own perspective when I use traditional cups. I always felt it inside. Basically, for me, this stem is equals this, basically, for me. Every time that I use the traditional cups and I went walking, I went with the bike, I went horseback riding, whatever, I always felt this stem inside. And that's something that I said, of course, this cannot be in the design of the baby cup. It has to be something completely comfortable. Because like I said, the menstruation should be completely natural and shouldn't be a stress. Because of course we get it once a month, once every 28 days. So of course, if you're stressed every 28 days, then that's not good. That's not good. You need to be completely calm with your body. So basically, the baby cup doesn't have a stem, it has a loop that you can just take it out of your vagina and remove it, but <gasps> attention, every time that you remove it from the vagina, you need to take care that you need to release the vacuum. It's very important to release the vacuum, so how do you do that? It's very easy. Basically, when the baby cup is inside of the vagina, you just have to squeeze it a little bit from the side, and with that same finger, you take the loop. As soon as you release the vacuum, you can let it loose. Another option that you can do is basically, if it's inside of the vagina, just place your finger inside of the loop and turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, and take it out. It's basically to just release the suction and the cup will be dancing down through your vagina and it's going to be completely mess free, of course because blood is going to be here, blood is going to be there, of course, because the whole vagina canal is going to be filled with menstruation blood, it's not only the blood that comes from the little cervix, no, the whole vagina is going to have residual blood. I hope it was clear. Another thing, very, very important, is that the baby cup only has, only comes in one size. It's size in between S and M, uh, it's, it's, in, it's an in-between between the sizes, S and M and it has a capacity between 25 milliliters and 35 milliliters. 25 milliliters to the inside flap and 35 milliliters completely full. That means that people that have very very heavy flow can use the baby cup and people that don't have a heavy flow can also use the baby cup. The measurements of the baby cup basically are 4.5 centimeters from the body, 1.5 centimeters from the extraction loop and 4.5 centimeters from the diameter. That is basically this, you can see what is the difference. Everybody says, oh my God, but the, the baby cup is very big, but of course it looks big in pictures, but of course if you see it in real life, this is a size M. Imagine, this is a size M in a normal menstrual cup, and then you can see what is the difference. The stem goes way, way further. So basically this is like for a high cervix, but of course you can cut it, but as you can see, uh, the baby cup is a little shorter, but when it comes to diameter, it's exactly the same. The baby cup, of course, and there's a lot of menstrual cups that are also produced in medical grade silicone, that is the case of the baby cup also. 
is made of the best, the highest grade medical grade silicone and we have four colors available right now is the transparent the green the purple and the pink so you can get it now in www.bepi.com thank you very much for being with me in another video i hope you liked it i hope uh, i explained you i explained to you sufficiently i hope i wasn't very unclear but sometimes yeah it's difficult to find the words when you're like trying to do a video by yourself but i hope you have a great day and i send you a big bye bye